Hey guys, RC here, back with episode four of some planet base. All right, let's take uh, these lids off again. Let me catch up from yesterday. Oh, look at the stars reflecting in the solar panel. That's pretty awesome. Nice. All right, so we've got, let's check our grids. All right, water's fine. Oxygen's fine. We, we had built a second one right here. Well, that's water. We have built, there it is, right there, oxygen, oxygen. All right, so this is working away. We've got 10 and 15, so we're actually 10 free. All right, so we need, Get up to equilibrium here at least. We drop that down. That should guarantee us a medic. What are we making out here? Okay, another cabin. Cool. It's up at speed two. And we are. Yeah, we've still got two bots. Put another cabin in here. We will chunk this full of beds. It might be too early to go to cabins. I don't know. But, you know. That's rare enough. We've got a uh, trader. 45%. I can live with that. Um, all right, we have eight, so let's, we've got ten extra, let's sell those, and we'll sell one of those, and that gets us 90. All right, we can't afford the onion yet. I could afford another carrier bot, maybe. Let's go ahead and do that. So you might be asking, why are you selling extra, you know, why are you selling metal and, and plastics? You're having a hard time. Well, that's true, but we are up on production and we do have a lot of starches. So we are using, so, you know, sell anything extra. That's how you make your money. And then, you know, you can afford at some point those, you know, you saw that GMO onion. That's like a high end onion. I don't know if those are actually good to utilize. Uh, I haven't ever used them before, but you know, things like that to buy guns, you know, what have you. Oh, speaking of, let's build a control center. Now, where do I want that? I'm thinking I could put that right here. Because the landing pad's here. So anybody, is that colonist? See who we got. We got a medic and a worker. Awesome. All right, so medics were up to three, so we are gonna up that back to 30. And that's kind of the percentage we want. Workers and biologists, then engineers. So we need some more engineers to run, uh, run these machines and we will be ramping up production in there. Spares were up to six, but I needed that extra medic. So we're at seven. So we're, we're doing okay. But now, you know, hopefully we, with three medics, we can keep all three of these workbenches going. Uh, I don't think we need to up any vegetable or food production now. Although a lab, another lab might not be a bad idea. Let's see. Did I build? I did. I built a canteen down here. So we've got one on each side of the base. We've got a dorm here, dorm here, all right. So basically what we're trying to do is keep sleeping areas so the guys that are working here uh, can then come, and, and the lab can work, uh, I'm sorry, the sick bay can work, can sleep here 
and then the guys were and possibly these guys here then you have your production guys they would have access to this room and canteen back here I don't think I'm not ready for a starport all right you know what we're gonna we're gonna build uh, let's build a um, Let's build a sign. Just I don't know what that does, if anything. Don't think it does anything. All right, we do need a... All right, let's see. Canteen. Processing we've already upgraded. We do have a factory. Oh, we can build a... Mer uh, hmm. I'm going to build a multi-purpose dome out here. Just a small one. We'll do that, and then I want to build a bar. We're going to build a big bar. And I'm going to go ahead and connect that. What I hope is that somebody doesn't get stuck in here. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. I have had that happen where my constructor bot was building these connectors and got stuck inside. Uh, let's, build, let's build the multi-dome first. I want to say bars will increase morale. May not be able to tell until it comes up. All right, we'll speed this up. Let them get these things online. We had upped the power. We had had the brownouts last episode. You know, I also... Let's... Let's build this over here. We're going to add a little more water. I like that. More water re retaining, I suppose. All right, we got another colonist ship, 13. All right, so workers we should be capped on. Looks like we got another, no, we didn't get an engineer. So I want to get up to about 40 to 45, and then I want to pause it again. I want to see how our food equalizes. So you bring in a handful of, of new colonists, pause colonist ships, let that kind of settle down. Make sure your food and energy production, um, you know, so don't add workplaces too fast. You know, that's just some of the basics, I suppose. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's a trade. That's a small trading ship. All right, fifty-five percent commission. We're gonna. Uh, these things that are blue, these are your colossal patents. These are like super large sizes. So, you know, those might not be bad to get. But uh, guns, those are hard to make because you have to have uh, semiconductors, which we don't have. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. Let's see, we're doing okay there. Let's build... I'm going to build two, two of those. These are the ones that take engineers to make. So, semiconductors are needed. Oh, we were going to dismiss him, right? Yep, thank you. Semiconductors are used to make uh, guns and whatnot. All right, we've got, oh, we've got this. All right, let's come in here. Uh, let's go ahead and put uh, an exercise bar. Oh, there's not enough room for the wheel. Oh, that's too bad. Tell you what, let's put two exercise bars. Uh, we will put one water fountain and a bench. Just a place they can sit. That's good. Oh, carrier robot three, irreversibly damaged. So we had just bought that carrier bot, but you can see we're back down to just one. And we do not have a constructor bot. Now, you, you can build carrier bots. They do take semiconductors, so we have to get semiconductors up and running. And you can see it takes a metal and a bioplastic. So now we're starting, you know, now we're starting to need those bioplastics more and more. But we still have this prioritized. But we would very much so like a constructor bot. That would be helpful. That'll be, the, I guess, one of the next purchases I need to make. 
What do we got here? We got a biologist. And he got in before I could click on him. Two biologists. All right, so how are we looking here? So they're at 31%, so we might get a couple more engineers, and then I think we will shut that down. Uh, make sure the guy did not get trapped in here. That would be really good before they build this. And please, when you build this, stay on the outside. Don't be a dummy, because then we'll have to destroy it. Good job. There's nothing they need to get in there for, so that's okay. Uh, in the bar, we are going to put uh, we're going to put a couple of drink machines. We will put uh, handful of tables. Uh, we will put a couple of water fountains, and we will put. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put two T. Let's put let's put three TVs. Let's ramp it up. It's a sports bar. There you go. All right. So a lot of plastics going in. That is fine. We will have to ramp that up. What I might want to do at some point is build another processing plant and go with eight metal and then build another one and go with eight uh, bioplastics. Or we keep this one near this storage facility and then we, as we expand out in either direction, build another storage facility and then have a new uh, biodome for plants and a lab and just kind of start building another section and then build another one just like this in that area. That might be the way to go. All right, you're waiting on a couple of metals. And we just picked up an engineer and maybe a worker. All right. So they are working away. Let's double check. Let's slow this down to speed two. Let's double check our manufacturing limit. So medical supplies was 20. Spares was 20. Semiconductors, guns. Carrier bots will be infinite, uh, although I may want let's set that to 30 for right now. Constructor bots, I mean, we're never going to expand super fast, and then driller bots, we would like all of our workers to be working inside. Carrier bots, uh, driller bots working outside. So let's see, what's going on here? We're waiting on metal, it appears, on both of them. So we have had a run on all of our metal and plastics, and we are waiting on them. We need two metal, four plastics to complete all the construction that we've set up, which is okay. And this will probably be a good spot. All right, so you can see daytime just started. We're just coming online with solar power. And so it's ramping up quickly. And we were well within specs on one battery. All right. A trading ship. Let's see what they've got. 60% commission. Ow. So here's a constructor bot. This is the patent. Now, we can't build it yet. But I would like to buy one. Can we afford it is the question. Now, I haven't seen these on the smaller ship, so it may be that you can only get it uh, from the larger ones. All right, so let's sell two of those. Actually, you know what? We can sell... We really don't have anybody injured right now, and we can only hold four in our cabinet. So let's go ahead and sell... We'll keep five. We'll keep our medicinal plants. And there we go. And that'll give us another constructor bot. All right, good. Looks like our water tank got built out here. And it is starting to fill up rapidly. We're producing 18 water and consuming 10. And we'll have 12, uh, 1,200 in reserve in water. That'll be good. 
you can see that our battery power is maxing out and we're not even halfway through our daytime period yet so that's good we do you know do check this make a habit of just checking this every once in a while and you can see we are up to 40 people so I'm gonna turn off my colonist ship now oh well, there's our little uh, constructor bot coming inside welcome welcome to the planet CNT5 nice what if you can rename anything in here let's see Where, who are you your idol um, doesn't appear to be any way to edit his name that's too bad that'd be cool to re be able to rename them all right we'll speed it up to speed two let's just kind of scroll out here there's our signpost there we are Cajunville all right now they know where they're at if they didn't know before and were just lost all right, water's full, good. Cranking out energy, cranking out water and oxygen, good deal. All right, we've got, let's see, we've got seven, four, seven, 14. I could probably use another dorm somewhere. Let's go ahead and build another cabin. We'll build an extra, uh, Tell you what, I don't think I want to block that off. Remember, cabins are a dead end. Um, what do I want to what I want to build over that way? Because we'd like to go out that way at some point, right? I could build, we could build a security base here. That, and we'll build, yeah, let's build it off the oxygen. Because remember, now the oxygen would shoot straight into there. And you don't want, you don't really want to deviate oxygen out of your canteen if you can help it. In fact, what I'd like to do is try to get this and this hooked up. And have these just on their own separate side. Not sure if that's possible. All right, control center. So what that's going to do is that will allow us to hire guards we don't need a lot we really won't need guards until later in the game the biggest thing when you build this is then you can when we get a sandstorm we can issue a yellow or a red alert yellow alert brings everybody inside so they're not outside during the sandstorm getting injured especially the bots because remember the people all it does is it slows them down the bots it actually damages them so something to think about uh, let's see we've got uh, our bar up here and we've got uh, five drinks so this actually takes I don't know if it takes meat or vegetables or both well that actually says vegetables so so uh, um, so there is that so we need to look for vegetable production in here all right so he just put that in it's gonna work and turn it into a mushroom beer okay I guess that's a thing. Uh, let's see. These. I don't know if these up morale or not. Bars are supposed to be really good. They're supposed to. Oh, yes. No, that's a video screen. Duh. Uh, beer. Alcohol. I don't know. Don't know. Anyway, there's our little sports bar. We're cranking away in here. What do we got going on? We have five metal, four free, 14. We need 14 and there are three free currently. They just haven't made it outside yet. So we have a lot of plastics going in. And that stands to reason. As you start building stuff inside. All right, we're waiting on four metal there. The other thing we can do once we build that is that will open up uh, here. We'll be able to build a radio antenna, uh, which allows you to call ships. Ooh, let's go see what our trader has here. He is a 60%, so you can take off. Thank you. Uh, where were we at? Over here. So you can build the uh, radio antenna, which allows you to call ships, I think, uh, a control center for your telescope. Uh, your telescope allows you to spot things, uh, meteors, 
uh, and I think mostly meteors. We can build anti-meteor lasers, which will shoot down and destroy the meteors before they damage or hit your base. And you remember we had that one that, uh, maybe we didn't. Was it in episode one where they, uh, where it hit and killed uh one of our one of one or two of our people but anyway um so that helps with that uh, also then you can build uh well if we were on a storm planet then you would build these i think these are lightning rods uh, but there are we won't build those here because there's no need and we could build a pyramid and a monolith at some point but uh, we're not going to do that just yet. All right, so if we look at this, what number is it? It is six. So now F6 is open, so we could set a yellow or a red alert. Yellow alert is just to bring people and robots inside during incoming sandstorms. A red alert, once we open our starport, we will get visitors. Now, visitors will come in and they can buy things. They can leave you money. But criminals will also come in and they will attack you. So before you build that, you want to make sure you start having guns built. And are we building any? Does not appear to be. All right, he's working on some semiconductors. He's waiting on metal. See, we're, now we're having a metal shortage. We've got four ores. I think we're fine. We've only got, well, we've got now two cranking away. So we've got three in there. I suppose, I tell you what, let's do this. I am going to unprioritize that. And we are going to prioritize the two mines. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to ramp up a stack of ore, you know, maybe 20 or 30, and then we'll unprioritize those and come back over here. And that'll be where we're going to go. Uh, the starches, let's see how full these machines are. So he doesn't have any. He's got one. So it may be, it may be that we do need to start bringing in some more, some more stuff here. If we do that, that's going to cause water. So we can go here. And then I'm going to want to pull out another water extractor. Let's go right out there. I think that'll be a good plan. Uh, oh, wait. Biodome. Yes, that's the very large one. Okay. Good. Good. Everything's looking good down on this end. We do have access here. We've got two access in the middle. And as we expand out a little bit more, we'll probably put another access over here. Now, we can build things in the control center. Um, tell you what, I am going to build right at the wall there. We're going to build a gun canister. Uh, that's where they'll store guns. And, ba you know, we don't need them until we start having criminal elements. But basically, your security guards will be in here. They'll grab guns. And then they'll be able to get right up here and stop people from coming in in this entrance. And they, sh they should be able to quickly get across to here and try to stop people coming in through this entrance. So, and I don't know if we, if we shut those down, if that keeps them from entering i don't know but what you do is you put it put the base on red alert for that if you have if you have a criminal element or whatever they call them then you you know then you set the base to red alert and your guards go into uh you know into their thing all right we need seven metal so that's going to need to run for a while we have a trading ship coming in let's see what they've got before we end the episode they are a 40% commission, and there you see that is a super extractor panel. So that's a double-sized water extractor. Problem is, I just don't have a lot. Let's sell a couple of spares. Those are worth a lot. We'll sell off some of our extra medical supplies. 
and tell you what I think we're just gonna go for money here we'll pick up a hundred coins the reason being is eventually once we start getting semiconductors built then I want to build uh, where is it? here we go uh, we're gonna build and I'm gonna build a big one come on didn't you just there you go because uh, I don't want you off the canteen yeah I think I'd rather you into that room now let's prioritize the biodome and the water that'll be a low priority out here but once we get that up now we have super uh, semiconductors coming in we can start building a fleet of carrier bots because you can build those right out of the gate and then we'll have to buy the patents to build constructor bots um, and they have built the armory uh, and let's see that'll hold what 10 10 guns uh, which we don't have any uh, we can buy those we can uh, make them and where you would make those at is in here and you would add in a, uh, a gun but I am happy right now where we're at with that wow that was close that was close Woo. that's where one of those uh, anti-meteor lasers would come in handy would have shot that down Ooh, welcome to Cajunville population me and you since you're here appreciate that by the way all right let's let them catch up on this i'll let them rebound on some of their metal production how are we doing on ores we've got 11 are these full three one three two i don't see oh i do see a couple out here so you know what i'm gonna unprioritize that one I'm going to keep that one prioritized for a little while. Nobody's hurt. We're doing okay on supplies. And we've got a couple extra in there. And we do have a lot of spares. So what I can do is start selling off spares. And that's why you don't set it to like 10. You want it 15 or 20. So you can make a few extras and you can start selling those as well. All right, that's going to be robotics. I think we're good, guys. So let's go ahead and end it here. Uh, next episode, when we come back, we will pick up at this. Well, I'm going to go ahead and probably play a little bit, let them get caught up on these buildings, uh, add in, uh, get, get some reserves of our metal and plastics again. And uh, we're also building this uh, biodome. So I think we're going to want to ramp up our production for meals and food. Hmm. How are these coming along? Yeah, they're getting ready to drop. I don't think we're falling behind, which is a good thing. Um, you know what? I do want to look at real quick. 28, 69. On this one, let's recycle that. And I want to go in with a... I'm going to go in with a, a radish, a three food, a three food. We've got enough starch building up, so I'm not worried about that. That will get three more food instead of just two, and that'll be good. I think that'll be good. Well, guys, hit the like button if you don't mind. Subscribe if you would, and we will see you here on the planet next episode. Bye.